Right here at KISS and in sports, the self-selected Houston forward Michael Young is their top pick in yesterday's NBA draft. Today will be mostly sunny. Highs in the 70s along the coast, the low 80s inland. Tonight clear, lows in the 50s. Tomorrow, more sunshine. Highs in the 70s on the shore and the low 80s inland. Right now, at our KISS studio, 65 degrees. I'm Bill Rossi, about to roll you over and into Matt Siegel and Matty in the morning, right here at KISS 108 FM. in there unless they make over $20 million a year, except for on this one particular night when you guys are going to come with us. We're going to give away a pair of tickets next as we play the impossible question. John Taylor, whoever he is, is having a birthday today. Happy birthday to John. I got a note in my mailbox to say hi to Colleen and Lori. And uh, this was yesterday. So I don't know if they're still alive, but uh, that was supposed to be yesterday. But, you know, I'm a little behind. Okay, are you ready to play the game? Yes. We have, we're going to the baseball game. This is going to be great. And now, Matt Siegel's Impossible Question. <laughs> what a voice. A lot of people think that's you, you know. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. That's Lisa. A new radio quiz game, loosely based on all the old radio quiz games. All right, now here's a question. I know you're gonna you're gonna know this. Believe it or not, I, I knew the answer to this. I did. Now this is gonna sound like a hard question, <laughs> but I knew the Shakespeare one yesterday. Okay. Uh, let, tell me if you know this one. Okay. What was the name of the stone with various scripts found in Egypt in 1799 that enabled hieroglyphics to be understood for the first time? Do you know this one? Don't say it out loud because that's the question. Oh, you do know it. Oh, it's, so it is easy because we have a. Sort of a guideline. If Lisa knows that it, it's too oh, easy. Oh, really cute. Real cute. Nine three one fifteen fifty. Good luck. There's a nightclub. It's across from the big green wall. They call the monster. The club. The metro. This is where the city beats. Yes. Hi, Rosetta. Rosetta who? Rosetta who? What was Rosetta's last name? I don't know. <laughs> well, it was the Rosetta. Oh. You know, Rosetta. it wasn't the Rosetta Rock. It was the Rosetta... The Rosetta Stone. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Well, you knew the Rosetta part, which yeah. was, the, of course, the most important part. What's your name? Marianne. Marianne. Where are you from, Marianne? Malden. So, Marianne, you're going to come to the ball game with us? Yes. When? You can drink some beers? Definitely. The Rosetta Stone was the name of the stone that had... Egyptian and, and it also had, had the hieroglyphics and, and it also had um, East Bostonese on there so it enabled the archaeologists to tell who was whom. Also, it was Blarney's sister. Blar Whose sister? Blarney. Blarney's sister, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a second. Whose sister was it? It was Blarney's. Wait a second. Hold on. I'm not ready. Hold on a second. Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait. What are you looking wait, How do I we gotta, do it? I got to stall there for a second. How do we do it timing? Wait a minute, I'm the not ready. The drum is up there. No, 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 that isn't it. Hold it, hold it, look? hold it, hold it. Where is it? I can't what? wait. I'll, I'll find it. Just wait. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, one more time. How Who's... to make a good bit die. No, no. Blarney. Who, who, the Blarney? Let me kiss it. I couldn't find it. The Blarney stone, get it? In what appears to be a mounting campaign to regulate smoking in public buildings, the Reading Board of Health has voted to require restaurants with 40 or more seats to provide a quarter of them for non-smokers. And today and tomorrow, highs in the comfortable 70s on the coast and low 80s inland both days. Right now at our KISS studio, 67 degrees. I'm Bill Rossi, returning you now to Matt Siegel and Matty in the morning right here at KISS 108 FM. That, no, not, that one. <laughs> not one that you're going to sit at home and listen to, you know. Any Doris Day Rock Hudson 
movie soundtrack. You should be shot if you own the one. Soundtrack to yeah. the Elephant Man. I like uh, that. The soundtrack to Gidget Goes to a Clinic was not was not a <laughs> similar to uh, the soundtrack to the Elephant Man, wasn't it? But I'll tell you one thing. Here is the soundtrack that if you're having a party and you've got a bunch of people around and you really want to say, "Hey, this is party time for let's us." Let's put people. this on the. Let's spin this platter. Yeah, which one? Apocalypse Now. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of good dancing stuff in it. The helicopter soundtrack alone yeah. is uh, yep. certainly worth it. Flying dancing. high. <laughs> so uh, you can use that for your next party, okay? Matt in the morning, Kiss 108 FM. Lisa? Matt, the moon is in Aries today. A good day to get things done. The sign of enthusiasm and beginnings. That's Maddie's sign. Aries. Aries. Go. The color is red. Red, baby. Hot. Get it. Like this yeah. song. Longest day of the year. Go get him. Matt in the morning, Kiss 108 FM, and I am so excited. It's 12 after 8, and I am just thrilled to death because we have got a new Smash song, and I get to play it first. My buddy Lisa Lips has recorded uh, a song uh, that's going to be a hit. <clears throat> Matt, it's uh, going to be terrific. I know this is going to be big. Matt, uh, Maddie. Re- what's the matter? Mm, ooh, I hate to do this to you, babes. I mean, you and I are really tight. You know, we're like this, but... We're um, buddies. We're pals. We've I got- just signed a deal. With a record company well, five glad. minutes ago. I you mean, got I a just... record company contract? That's great. Yeah, well, we just went to McDonald's during the news, and we you know, we took a meeting at the drive-thru, and I just signed a contract. And Well, so what? Well, I don't think I can play it right now. I think I have to wait. What do you mean but, you can't play well, it? Well, I just signed. The guy's on the phone right here if you'd like to talk to him. What do you mean you can't? Well, I'll talk to this guy. Hello, who is this? Hello? Siegel? Who is this? This is Jonathan Tuscan of CBS Epic Records. Yes, and what's this I hear about you playing Lisa Lip's song on the air? Well, of course we're going to play it on the air. Lisa works with no, me. No, no, you cannot do that, sir. What are you talking? Lisa has signed a contract with us. We will play this song. This song is going to be bigger than Disco Duck. Oh. And you cannot touch it. Well, who's you cannot g- play this song on the air, sir. Well, who's going to play it first? You cannot play this song. If what? you touch this song... We will have to sue you. Wait a minute. L.A. What? is going to get this song first. Wait a minute. You're going to get the song to call up to Rick D's in L.A.? No That's way. That's right. Rick D's. This is going to be bigger than his disco duck. Now, wait a minute. not touch this song, sir. But, what? But, hello? 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 Wah, wah. Oh, man. Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh. My husband cooked some for lunch Saturday. Now, if he's going to cook, you know they got to be good. Here's more word-of-mouth advertising for John Morrell. Jo-